Let's do a few more examples of graphing using intercepts here. Um, we'll start with writing out our little xy chart. We know that we need to find out what happens when y is 0 and then find out what happens when x is 0. So first let's substitute in 0 for x. So when x is 0 we get y equals 2 times 0 plus 3 and 2 times 0 is 0, anything times 0 is 0, so really effectively that x term just goes away and we get y equals 3. And then we'll substitute in 0 for y and we get 0 equals 2x plus 3. So then we need to move the 3 to the other side. We get negative 3 equals 2x divided by 2, divided by 2, and we get x is the same thing as negative 3 halves. So when y is 0, x is negative 3 halves. So our two points then are x is 0, no left or right, y is 3, so we have a point up here. And then x is negative 1 and a half, and no up and down, y is 0. And we connect those two points with a straight line and our graph looks something like that. Arrows on the end show that it goes on and we're done. Okay, and then for B we have graph using intercepts y equals 7 minus 2x and so again we'll draw our xy chart when x is 0 xy x is 0 and y is 0 when x is 0, we get y equals 7 minus 2 times 0. And again, you'll see that that x term just goes away because we have something multiplied by 0. So y equals 7. When y is 0, we get 0 equals 7 minus 2x. Add 2x to both sides, we get 2x equals 7. And x equals 3 and a half. So 3 and 1 half. So then y is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and x is 1, 2, 3, and a half. So that line should look something like this. Just going to have to kind of guess here, yeah, something like that. Okay, and then for the last uh, example here, example C, graph using intercepts 4x minus 2y is 8. So we have x, draw our little table. We have y. Okay, and then uh, when x is 0, this is interesting because both variables are on the same side, so we can see when x is 0, the x term just goes away. So we get negative 2y equals 8 divided by negative 2, and we get y equals negative 4. And then when the y term is 0, that whole section goes away. So we end up with just 4x equals 8 divided by 4 and we get x equals 2. So now we have x is 2, y is 0, and y is negative 4, x is 0, and we end up with a line something like that.